How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Snap Academy. I'm Muse. Today is part two of our starting from the bottom series. Really had a good time making this video. We had some engagement, had a lot of questions asked, and that's what the series is for, to answer all of your questions. If you have any questions, follow us on the Discord, leave a comment, let us know what you really want us to go over. This series is about helping new players, helping you navigate the economy, navigate new cards, new builds, getting to infinite, just really the whole new player experience as it's not the easiest right now coming from you know beta playing from the beginning have a bunch of cards I, I was kind of immersed in, in all the cards even taking a little hiatus and coming back I'm missing you know 45 cards I don't get to partake in, in everything so me myself I, I really appreciate you know all of all of you guys coming to me with with what you want as you know I'm a little bit in the same boat so we're gonna learn a little bit together hopefully make your lives a little bit easier on your climb to infinite like subscribe and again leave that comment so we know what you guys want to see the questions you have we answered a lot on stream and when we did it at a great time so enjoy now we uh went through a few things last time it really just kind of got me jarred kind of off kilter you know restarting the game and everything so yeah just kind of restarting figuring out you know just the new player experience you know kind of building decks to get on ladder um getting through the first season pass and your first ladder deck building all that good stuff like i said just very very new it's weird because you know i started you know with with alpha played in the first few seasons of marvel snap and it kind of going back and redoing it i'm like oh i want to i'm gonna play all these cards i want to do this that and the other and just it's just wild kind of doing that new player experience so that's really what we're going over today just looking at the deck what i what, what did i end up settling with i think it was yeah kind of a spectrum ongoing zoo thing start starter one it's just what we're gonna call it just so we know where we're at hey we, let's let's make it let's make it red <laughs> kind of looking at it do have the recruit season pass still to finish and really we just gotta do missions so we'll do some missions and do the season pass stuff so i guess i need odin in my deck do i have odin in this deck i don't think so odin is not in this deck so let's just put odin in here or i will just run the other deck that has odin in it is it the kazar nope is it the starter deck? No. Okay, so let's just build a quick deck with what we have. So this is just for the Odin. Odin stuff. Okay, so we have Odin. So now kind of with, with deck building in general, I guess this is a good starting point, is you want to build around your win condition. If you don't have a win condition, you can't win. So that's really how all decks get their name. So you're in the metagame or hearing about the metagame, you hear, oh, uh, hell is doing this because hell is the win condition or Mr. Negative. Mr. Negative is the win condition. Sometimes it's as broad as ongoing, but that's probably going to be spectrum ongoing or big bads. Thanos, you know, Thanos builds his own archetype. A lot of the archetypes are built around specific cards. Then you have, you know, your kind of your base ones like ongoing, discard, move, destroy. That's a, a package of cards, a kind of what you're doing. What's the theme of the deck for us? We want on reveal because that is what odin does so odin six eight on reveal repeat the on reveal abilities of your other cards so basically if you do it you do it again what i kind of want to do is stack up lanes that have an on reveal thing so cosmo that's a non-bow cosmo is not our best friend he's not a good boy against this deck cosmo's a three three ongoing on reveal abilities won't happen here kind of the the anti-odin if you will so we don't have a lot of on reveal abilities yet. Uh, Ironheart's gonna be a good one because when we drop that on turn six, we get that Ironheart ability again, plus two power to three of our other cards. Great, love that. Probably also wanna do the White Tiger. That's a line in itself, White Tiger. Get the eight power Tiger in another location. Do it again with Odin. Boom. Again, we don't have a lot going on here, so we might do a little supplemental package. Have a Gamora just in case we don't get the White Tiger. Star Lord, why not? Wolfsbane, why not? We don't have a lot going on here. So what other cards do we have that are decent at the beginning stages? I like Mr. Fantastic at the beginning of the game. He's a 3-6 if you think about it. Again, kind of like the last video, you want to kind of add in the power of what they're doing as well, not just what you see on the card. So Mr. Fantastic, he is a 3-2, but also adjacent locations have plus two loca uh, power. So if you drop Mr. Fantastic in the middle, it's actually a 3-6, so that's great value. And that's really what we're looking for in kind of these beginning decks is the value. What 
cards give us value? I don't know, maybe Iron Man, why not? And then we need kind of the bottom end as well. So Sentinel just to give us cards maybe, Punisher just to punish a little bit, Ant-Man, Hawkeye, boom, there's a deck. So let's go run that, Odin stuff, and let's get going on the, on the baby account. Rickety Bridge is one of my least favorite locations. We'll get the Hawkeye down middle, play something on top of him next, possibly that Sentinel. I like Sentinel in the beginning stages. Why? Okay, we're definitely in a bot. Taking All right, first, first rule of Marvel, Marvel Snap. And I'm gonna make a short about this. I'm gonna make many videos about this. If you're playing bots, just snap. Just snap on the bots because you're going to win. You want to farm the bots, especially when you're climbing, you're going to face a lot of bots. So knowing that, huh, Robert, my um, my editor. Uh, so when you know that you're playing a bot, you definitely want to snap on them because they're going to do dumb things like play in the rickety bridge on turn one. Mr. Fantastic, on the other hand, reaches into that rickety bridge, giving us that that three six. Unfortunately, everything moves after turn four. So I'm gonna do an Instead, is get that Ant-Man to the right, Sentinel. Everything's just going to drop into the right. And then on turn five, play Iron Man, put Mr. Fantastic in the middle there. Bob's your uncle. Taking aim. Um, we don't want to really do anything here yet. Maybe just drop a Sentinel. Or actually, since fun thing whatever you play the last is actually going to stay if the other side's full so the hawkeye and the star lord are going to move over the mr fantastic will stay so we filled this up popped up the ant-man good to go the mr fantastic will stay we have something in the rickety bridge we definitely want to play something into that probably last turn possibly a sentinel or they can just play it themselves or okay so they have a, a strong rocket raccoon which we will blow up with a sentinel Boom, Mr. Fantastic stayed. Right side, locked in. Oh, Raccoon, still there, I forgot about, I forgot that they moved too. So definitely want to drop the Iron Man here and then probably drop the Wolfsbane last. I am Iron Man. Yep, and then Wolfsbane, Sentinel, just to add it. We've got two power here. They could possibly play something, but they're a bot, they're not that smart. We've got locked on the right, we're locked in middle. Oh, I did sequence terribly though. Always sequence. That's rule number two. Figure out your sequencing. Actually, I forgot. Maybe Wolfsbane goes off. Yeah, for all cards. But you always want to make... Why would you drop an Odin there? Dumb bot. Always want to make sure that you play everything in the correct order. That didn't affect me, but if I was to do, like, Odin into Wolfsbane, that'd be super dumb. Not that you can, but... Um, yeah, so easy cubes, white tiger, get our missions going. Uh, win with Spectrum, perfect, because that's the deck we want to play. All right, so now let's switch back to the starter deck. The thing with the collection track is don't get greedy. There's efficient ways to do whatever, but I suggest only updating and upgrading the cars that you really like. The nice thing about the new system, which we did not have back in the day, is that you can change everything. So you get the custom card, you can do all the outside, super cool, and you're not stuck to, you know, oh, this is like the perfect split. I got to stay that. I can't ever split again. So all of your splits for all of your cards work in tandem with each other now, which is super awesome. So really, I just suggest, you know, split the cards you like, naturally go up the progressive track. Don't try to force it like I do. Fun fact, a base card. Let's see if I can find a base card. You get the most bang for your buck. So Quicksilver here, cost 25 for one level. If we go to another one, put a hole. That's 100 for two levels. 25 to get from get to the frame break if you want to be efficient you make sure to do all of your base cards so that it costs you less that's something you can do if you really want to be efficient i don't necessarily suggest it i do it but i'm also like to min max that's just me i'm weird and then we start getting cards for this i just want to get things i don't care about whatever i'm just trying to get some more cards so our first mystery card angel all right angel two three one of your cards is destroyed, it flies out of your hand in a deck to replace it. Probably good for the beginning stages. If you're running a destroyed deck, as you don't have all the things, you need that extra little bit. As you kind of get going, not the best card. It's going to be one of the first cards you kind of replace out. Um, strong guy, 3-3. Three, three. You know, I've been playing with strong guy a little bit. Could be cool in a kind of discard ongoing thing. 
we'll see. I'm not gonna play around it yet. Nothing I want. We can upgrade this again. So many Quicksilver tokens. Iron Fist, staple. Movement, staple. One, two, on reveal. After you play your next card, move it one location to the left. Yeah, it helps start boosting up your, your um, Human Torch. Moves over your multiple man. Movement, staple. Love that card. Scarlet Witch. Could be fun. Uh, fun in certain decks. I like the card in general. It probably needs a buff. I was actually uh, listening to uh, the Snapchat. And I like the idea of, you know, for like these random cards to change the... Um, location giving you like an option that could be cool like pick one of two that way you have a little bit of control to kind of help you a little bit more gold is primo i'm assuming it's gonna probably be more bots so farm the bots easy peasy yeah i like to draw cards beautiful give me a squirrel girl a colossus please that way i can draw another card doesn't matter what card game you're playing card draws key 100 taking aim nothing Nothing new there. You always want to draw cards, get deeper into your deck. Take that. Boom. Oh, yeah. I love Cozy and Alex. They, they're they awesome. I've been listening to them since... They, honestly, I think since Snapchat 1. I'm not even kidding. Just to kind of help me to kind of really think about my, my deck. So I guess that's a, that's a tip there for folks that are kind of higher up. Those guys have been playing forever. They are really good and just kind of talk about things in general. So shout out to them. Avengers! Assemble. All right, I can move cards here. Colossus, just throw a Cosmo right, I guess. Yeah, I'll throw a Cosmo right. Cards that cost one or one, two or th Is it about to let me play there? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Cards, oh, it just kicked, <laughs> it just wasn't loading it. Like that's weird. So yeah, we're definitely snapping. We have our win condition. That's another thing. I don't know if I said it earlier, but if you have your win condition snap, period. Um, you've got um, all kinds of things here. So we'll throw that over to the right or actually we'll throw it left. That way it boosts the Captain America here. Probably gonna throw Nightcrawler right anyway. I might move some things around on turn six. That way I'm not trying to contest. Oh, Wolverine. Solid card. I've got so many Wolverine variants. Assemble. Okay, so normally I would give up here, but because I'm playing a bot, should still win. Assemble. And assemble. Knowledge Big power right. Power. More. Oh, did the Gamora actually get me? Wow, it did. I was not expecting Gamora there. I, I don't know what I was expecting there. Honestly, I wasn't expecting anything. It got me. It definitely got me. I guess that's kind of like one of the curses of starting over. Everything's going to get me. I, I, I have no idea what I'm playing against. Just hodgepodges of cards. Right. Do a little squirrel girl. No, we'll do Nightcrawler. All right. Do, 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 do. But there will be games that you lose, sir. Um, but there will be games you lose, which is which is fine. It happens. I, they're they're being dumb. I've got an Iron Man. I'm ready to go. We'll do that into Colossus here. You want you want to hop up? Come on. Taking aim. Oh, a little solo Namor. Do a little Iron Man right, and then I might also do Nightcrawler right, just to kind of make sure that happens. I don't think the early bots retreat either. So I'm not playing anything on top of Jessica, but that's plus four. I am Iron Let's Man here. They'll both get something. Yeah, so every, everything, should, we should be, we should be good. We should be good. Or do you just play on top of the Jessica Jones? Again, I'm thinking like I'm playing people here. Knowledge is power. All right. Victory. Keep on climbing. I need to win one more with Spectrum in the deck. Okay. Should be able to do that, this one. Yeah, you, 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 ne you never know. Especially with like such a limited carpool, like I should know that on turn five or six, I'm going to go against a Gamora or a Hulk or something. So I need to categorize, not categorize, but account for that. So I guess that's kind of like misleading, honestly, in a, in a way, if you're like, if you're watching like deck techs, like my deck techs, Cozy's deck techs, Alex's deck techs, and you're 
just starting out, they mean nothing to you. 100% they mean absolutely nothing because you're not playing against those decks yet. I, you probably won't even play against them until collection level at least 2000. So you're well into the game before you can even, you even start encountering those decks. But I'm hoping to see the um, kind of the free card. Because I think like you get the free series three card because those are those are kind of where you start to build out uh, your collection. Um, if you don't have, you know, all the series three cards um, being series three complete is is probably the, the, the biggest thing to do is do that. Try to get out all of your all of your stuff. And if you do want to, you know, put in any kind of money into this game, the season pass is the way to go for sure. I the season pass is definitely worth the money. Yeah, I don't need to do a full. Yeah, I'm going yes now. But the uh, the season pass is definitely worth it. You know, for ten bucks, you you get a card, you get three variants, you get a bunch of credits, you get some gold. I am Iron Man. Avengers, assemble. Oh man, yeah, that is super rough. Easy to Let's go there. Let's finish this season pass thing. Does it just give it to me? Okay, yeah, max is out. So what do I okay. Recruit season maxed out. Grab all the things. It gives me a pixel variance. Pixel variants are the bane of my existence. I have to encounter them all again. And blue marble. Solid, solid card. 5-3, ongoing. Your other cards have plus one power. Easy peasy. Hey, I completed the season pass. Oh, then I get the real season pass, which unfortunately I will not be purchasing. So I will not have that card because we're going completely free to play. Like I said, the season pass, if you, if you have 10 bucks, spend it. Um, definitely gives me $10 worth of joy a month. Goes to Conquest, so you unlock everything right after, it looks like. And then someone was asking um, in the comments, how do you get variants? Um, the best way is the collection track, or just buy the ones you want. You know, save up your gold from the uh, the season pass. I'm um, gonna just buy the ones you want. Art subjective, or subject, I can never remember. Board, another stable card, um, especially for Zoo. It's got, it's got one of those abilities that you don't see. So like Iceman, Borg, Rockslide, when you get there, those cards, you don't get to see what they're doing. You don't get to see the disruption. Really good, especially in balance when you're doing it over and over and over again. That could be fun. I wanna keep that Ant-Man as an Ant-Man. And that's also another thing you can do, just punting uh, in an entire lane. I'm not going to play for this lane. I don't need to play for that lane. I'm not going to use up resources in that lane. Bot move. Okay, well, that didn't do anything. Um, it's Kazar right. So that way I don't mess anything up. Okay, well, Kazar left. Enchantress. Oh, it's an Enchantress now. <laughs> I don't. I want an Iron Man left. Maybe it'll be something big. Yeah, I, want to, I forgot to snap. Oh, Always snap. remember to snap. I am Iron Man. Blue Marble. That works too. I will accept those terms and conditions. So I want to play the Spectrum over here. That way everything else gets boosted. And then maybe I can get like some big nasty six drop like a Hulk. Red Hulk, who knows? Or it'll be my luck and I'll get a destroyer and destroy everything and lose. We'll see. A little RNG action. Knowledge is power. Ah, Apoc's not bad. Are ye worthy? Enchantress. Oh. We are the future. Oh, wait, what? Who? Well, that was chaotic. But a good win. Victory! Would have maybe thought about putting the Mr. Fantastic in middle just to give those those two power to each side. Chaos, absolute chaos. And then also another way, just do your dailies. If you finish it off, I can't remember the exact math, but for the weekly challenges, you get I think it's five hundred. Yeah, five hundred at the end, and then a few hundred throughout. I think it's like maybe twenty-five, a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, five hundred. Um, definitely do your weekly challenges. Um, that way you can get everything you need. 
or we'll do Hawkeye and the Squirrel Girl. Josh probably also a bot. Snap on the bots. Taking aim. Squirrel Girl, Ant Man. All right. Yeah, because then we got the Kazar, we got the Zoo going. We have an extra energy. We have all kinds of stuff. We even get power from from the rocks here. And I think I touched on it a little bit earlier. Know your know your line, know your win condition. If you have it, snap. Done. I forgot I've got blue marble. I need to put blue marble in this deck. Oh. Is, is that enough? Nope. It's a good wolf span. Oh, oh wait, do I still no? Oh no, I don't. Tie. Tie goes to them. Let's actually upgrade this. Um, instead of the Punisher, I want to put in Blue Marvel. There he is. That way we're just continuing to play that zoo. Korg, I might actually drop in here for the... Uh, I like the ongoing though, but yeah, we'll drop the Korg in. Kind of lean more into the zoo. All right, chances of getting a one drop are high. Taking aim. Well, dang, didn't get it. Get the. We'll drop the Captain America in the mid. Start getting some uh some more stuff going. Avengers, assemble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, hit him, hit him with a rock. All right, so let's get the. Snap back. Um, I am so Iron Man. Is, well, so it ties? Oh, it does tie. Okay. So. Oh, wait, no, because we got the spectrum. Knowledge is power. Cuber. Had all my stuff. Victory. Snapped. Snap on the bots. Easy. Oh, this is this is a grind. This is a grind. They start getting collector's caches at 506. Wow. Alright. I did not realize how far that was. That is very far. I guess Robert, cue the uh the training montage. I feel bad for, for everybody that has to do this right now. Oh, collect. Oh, can I collect free things? Yes, let's collect free things. <laughs> Always, 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 always grab the free things. Yandu. Yandu, you might go. No, you're not. You're not going. Just gotta just keep on keeping on. Get 40 boosters at 20. So I, it, there is a possibility I can get infinite. It does let you. Okay. If I can get infinite with this, it'd be crazy. Yep, let's drop the cord first. A little disruption. Hey man, I'm Cook. I'm Cook. Drop the night crawler over there. It's not looking good. I can move him out. Yeah. So, uh, you guys, got any questions? Now that we're just kind of in the uh, the playing phase, this is this is the grinding phase of of starting over. So, anything you all got i will definitely answer all right i'm probably not going to make it so we're just going to punt out of there and drop in uh kazar and snap and we'll drop iron man right and Spectrum mid and wing condition. I am Iron Man. Easy, easy. Opponent what are you snapping for? Two power is gonna become four power. I guess they could play something there, so I will just play here on the right. Give myself a better chance. There's an, a low likelihood that they drop something mid. Or a Namor. Knowledge is power. I 
hate losing to bots. Crawler, yeah, well, I'll just... I, I don't see District X a lot anymore. I don't know the last time I played like, on a District X. It's a fun way to see new cards at low levels. Wakanda forever. And my party just plays, right? Runs from your hand in a random location. Yeah. I think I, I, actually, that's a card I don't own. Friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. Spider Man. Love that card. I've got so many variants of Spider Man. Um, on reveal, move to another location, pull an enemy card there. So, really goes in with the. Um, Kind of the, the new scream deck. Um, I call it attack move, drain move, whatever you want to call it. I got a video for that. Put it, put it there. Oh, sweet. Mockingbird. Love that. Um, yeah, let's just play it. And we're going to play that on the mid. And we're going to snap. Oh, was, it, was that a real pure? Victory. Oh, it may have been. Weird. It was like instant out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just corg it. I found the rock. I kind of like the idea of hiding things underneath. Is it good to aim in the top three of guild quests every week? Um, for guild quests, it really actually doesn't matter because if your guild isn't doing everything, again, it doesn't matter because you're not getting the rewards anyway. Um, I don't think you get any extra rewards for being in top three. Now, it's definitely worth it for the leagues, and that's really just um, a war of attrition. As long as, you know, you're playing consistently and you want those rewards, definitely worth it. No, you don't necessarily need to be in the top three of your of your alliance. It doesn't matter because you don't get any extra rewards. Uh, you definitely want to finish off your own, though. That way, you're not leaving anything on the table. Good question, though. Great question. Opponent snapped. Did I snap? Snap. I'll snap. Glad I didn't play left. Jessica Jones says nothing for you. Domino. Oh, that was your big play, Domino. Knowledge and is boom. Power. Got those eight cubes back. Love that. Victory. I hate losing eight cubes. Morph. 3-0 on reveal, become a copy of a card in your opponent's hand. Probably good right now, actually, and kind of at the beginning of the game before you have a lot of cards. Not really a build around card by any means. I don't ever play him except for in um, high voltage. Great card in high voltage, super fun because everyone's playing six drops. Yeah, definitely. You do want to do everything in the challenges, though. So whether you buy the season pass or not, you definitely want to do these because there's a decent amount on the, the free track. Let's see here. Yeah, 100 credits, 200 credits, 100 gold, 100 credits. So you get credits in gold for sure, which helps get you through the collection track because you need credits to get through the collection track to keep going, get more cards. And then gold, if you want to get like the token Tuesdays, things like that, um, you definitely want to uh, do that. So if nothing else, make sure you're doing all the season pass stuff, whether you own it or not. Um, yes, you get bonus if you buy it, but the free stuff, definitely worth it. Anything that you can get to maximize your collection, definitely want to do that. I was really gonna do it, but and actually let's just do go there. Mm -hmm. Nothing there. Get the fantastic. Get that play down. I will maybe double. The, oh, that was that's a bot move. That's a bot move. Less of a bot move. I want to Iron Man over there. Avengers! Assemble. Hey, you found a rook. Can I snap you up? Yeah, I did. Okay. And there's a rock. If I should, do I win it? Um, if I go. You know, honestly, I have not thought about that. I'll, um, I'll look at that. Because climbing the ladder is hard, no matter what. It's 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 hard, <laughs> period. So, possibly, let me double check, make sure. Yeah, I 
Yeah, I mean, definitely climb the ladder isn't going to give you too much. So if we go over and look at Conquest, I love Conquest, by the way. Um, I like to play competitively. Conquest, here we go. With the prizes, credits, variant, boosters, credits, so really, what's that? 400 plus 300. I mean, if you win a few times and get the credits, definitely worth it. Um, because if you go to the rank, I mean, you gotta be 30, 50, 70. So I mean, after 70, that's when it gets really hard. So it's definitely worth it to try to get to 70. I mean, after that, if you eh, have a good chance to get to 90, that 500 gold's worth it. But Conquest is, is worth it because you only need to win a few of the matches in like silver and gold because they, they increase exponentially. So I believe, let's go to Conquest. You get 370 medals per win. So if you win, what, gold three, four times, you get all those credits. So that's definitely worth it as, as you're climbing. We got a little zoo. Oh, really? You're going to discard? Kind of mean. A little salty at that. Shadow. This is not fun. I don't really want to... I had the squirrel girl. I'd drop her in there. Taking aim. We got cord. Definitely want to drop the night crawler right. And I can move it in. That's a big rocket raccoon. I probably need to punt right. Yeah, definitely punting right. Start boosting everything up. And they gotta. They'll probably kill something last turn. Like a and left. Win here. Yes, you win right. I get it. I am Iron Man. Alright, Bishop. I do like Bishop a lot. After you play a card, gain, gains one. Really good in zoo decks. Goes pretty big. Wow. 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 Er, Alright. Yes, I lose against a lot sometimes. Hey, man. I'm cool. Oh, snap. I'm just gonna start auto-snapping the beginning. Okay, okay, so... I have something over here if I need it. I found the rock! Oh, wow, wow. Okay. Let's just make sure we got everything. This is, this is a rough field. It's a rough board. And you, you did not go with yourself. But I will kill it. My squirrel girl. Okay. Nice. So yeah, we win there. Win there. And just to get it out. Oh, you retreated? Victory! Okay, fine. I didn't want a cube anymore. Get up there. Moon Girl. Love this card. I have a, um, a video um, to a Moon Girl. Actually, the um, Attack of the Clones deck I just did, as well as a uh, kind of a Ronin build as well. Um, great card, um, especially for lower meta play, which is not necessarily the most competitive, um, but super fun. 10 out of 10 stars on the fun factor. For doing missions, um, especially when you're not trying to climb the ladder, do the missions. Uh, so like three cost cards, two cost cards. This part might be a little hard, but you don't try to do that. You don't try to win three locations in the match. You have a month. Chances are you're going to do it four times. Win a location with 10 power or less. I haven't been trying to do that and I did it. I'm not playing a move deck, but there are locations that make me move people use Spider-Man, things like that. So there are things that you're just gonna do incidentally. Like some of this is just playing the game. I mean, you're gonna have two cost cards. You're gonna have three cost cards. You have an entire month to do to do all the missions. You don't need to focus necessarily, like choir boosters, boom. Play Final Pack, boom. I'm just gonna play that. Your dailies, yes. But some of that's also going to be just play the game. Looking at missions. So like daily missions, as long as you have less than three, like three or less, you can kind of tack them on because you get three every eight hours. 
yeah, eight hours. So as long as you stay under three, you can miss one, play at night. So like, if you miss the morning and then the noon, um, you just have to hit by, I believe, 10 o'clock. What's four hours from now? Yeah, 10 o'clock. So as long as you hit these six, or at least three before 10 o'clock central, then you can add on another three and then finish those up before bed and kind of do it all at once. You do kind of want to focus on these again. That way you're kind of maximizing everything. I don't suggest doing the mission refills at all it's just not worth it you can use your gold for for tokens things like that gold is gold is scarce you want to use it on you know cards you want to use it on cards sometimes sweet art i uh i use my gold sometimes to finish a um an album if there's like tokens or something over there i use that a lot i'm not playing into the lechugulia lechugulia is that how you say that? I have no idea. Is it two missions? I always thought I, I thought I always stuck with three. I, I always finish them so quick. I'm not sure. Add a random 10 power card to my hand. I can definitely do that. Let's do Captain Right. Do Captain Right with the the Kazar. Have everything we need. Snap on the bot. Avengers! Assemble. Rocks and a Nightcrawler. Okay. Five. Do I want to just drop a Thanos? Yep. <laughs> just gonna drop a Thanos there. So yeah, if it is two, then yeah, you have even more time. So then, as long as you get your daily missions done, you're good to go. You get your uh, get everything you need. Okay. Knowledge is power. All right. Continuing the grind. Victory. So yeah, the uh, the zoo deck seems to be doing pretty well. I like it for for climbing here, especially against the bots. It's got big power. Those what you need. It's pretty versatile, so you don't have to really worry about getting those 100%. Oh, my combo pieces. So yeah, I definitely suggest kind of as you're starting off, grinding up from the bottom up. It's a solid deck to get going. You know, if you get all these cards, I think Korg was the only other you know series two before we're getting the series three or anything. But yeah, we'll just we'll definitely keep building this um building this out. Hey, you found a rook. want to have more than them um, that way we get two power they only get one um, it's all about incremental gains incremental gains are our best friend see if they were just winning we just take that take that right over i do want to drop the squirrel girl now with the night crawler that way you know the night crawler gets bigger if i want to move it um the squirrel girl's picking up oh hate that So we've got right on lock. We're gonna blue marble here. Using keys to get missing cards or saving for the big release. Here's my philosophy on that. And it is get the card you want. So they have the data mines, which kind of tell you know what's going on. If there is a week with a card that you really like, I mean, you can plan ahead all the way through to December. And there's a cash that you really like, save up for that. Um, you definitely want to have, if there's one card in there you want, you need to save up for. That way you have a guaranteed shot, but you're also getting, that's one thing I do like about the changes. If you see, you have a one in four chance of getting a random card that you probably don't have, or you get tokens for it, awesome. One in four chance of getting the cards you do want. So if there's multiple cards you want in a in a um, in a spotlight, just save up for that. I found, you know, coming back in from a year hiatus, you know, I don't have enough spotlight keys to get everything. I'm not a big whale spender by any means. I get the the gold pass, which is the best gold value and uh, the season pass so and that's 15 bucks a month great i get 15 dollars of happiness for, for this game great i get to stream do some things see you guys it's awesome it's not necessarily a bad idea to go all the way again it just depends on what you want for me i'm going to focus in on the cards i want i want cards that i can build decks with Yes, I like to have that extra card. I've got most of the Series 4 cards, so anything I hit is going to be tokens or, or a card. So if you really, you know, if you have a bunch and you have 
everything and you want to finish it off, yeah, definitely go for it. Especially if you don't have a lot of cards and it's already a, um, a spotlight that you like. You, you put three in, you, you got all three cards you want. Well, great. If you, if, there's, if you just want a random card, go for it. Again, it's personal preference. I can't tell you exactly how, but for me personally, I'm focusing on getting the cards I want. So for next week, or I guess tomorrow, honestly, I'm contemplating whether I want Toxin or not. You know, I don't play a lot of Bounce. I don't have Fina. I don't have um, what uh, Wigan. I can't remember his name. But I don't have all the cards for the, the Bounce archetype. That's that's something to, to really think about is, do you want to just build your collection? Or do you want to build, you know, a deck? It really depends on and on you. I, I know it's a very wishy-washy answer, but like I said, for me, I'm, I focus on, on on the cards I want. I spend one spotlight a week, and if I get the new card, awesome. If not, I'm taking okay. aim. Snap. Snap. I, I can hit the button. I swear. I found the rock. sucks i'll just drop cosmo and then ant-man should take over left destroy all their stuff hopefully maybe not okay let's see that's what's this is three four five power here oh man they, they went for it oh no oh no that was a jabroni move now here's where we can learn about retreating I did a bad thing. I am no longer going to win. I have lost my advantage. You want to snap when you have an advantage. I have an advantage every match right now because I'm playing bots. So I just snap every time. But want to, uh, you know, cut my losses here. Two cubes, whatever. Always hit retreat later because you never know. They might be like, oh, they're just crazy. They're playing this and that, what have you. They meant to do that. Who knows? But then it's a tie if, if they also retreat. So definitely always hit retreat later. We wait a little bit longer, but definitely worth it in the long run. I've, I've saved a couple matches just by hitting um, Retreat later, and it being a tie. We got cards. That's fine. Boom. Trying to get the 20 here. Hey, you found a rook. I'm taking aim. Do Ant-Man. Yeah, let's do the Ant-Man and do it. Boom, boom. Big power. Yeah, I mean, old cluster. So weird to see that, and not a um, and not a Deadpool deck. Four. And this gets more power over here with the Iron Man on top. Yeah, I like that. Avengers, assemble. me to a lot. I am. Right. I am. Oh yeah, I forgot that I get another five from there. Forty. Boom. Big power. Marvel not save So as long as you're snapping when you need to and retreating when you don't, or retreating when you need to as well, then you're always gonna be positive. You can actually have a negative win rate and still be, you know, on the up and up. Negative decks are, are super big about this because they get you with that big turn six. They snap on you. They have their win condition. They, they basically, they're telling you like, hey, I'm going to win. But when they don't have that negative, when they don't have all the pieces they need, they get out of there. So they technically lose more, but when they, okay, Watsu, the Watcher, trash card, always don't ever play it. You want to make sure that, you know, you're, you're, getting out of there with the most cubes that you possibly can, and you're losing the least amount. Hawkeye. Right, definitely gonna flip Hawkeye. Taking aim. Oh, Ant-Man. Drop into that, snap. We got blue marble, we got Spectrum. Good to go. Aw. I'm cool with that. So hopefully we get our zoo train going. Grab 
two more cards. Okay, great. Avengers! Assemble. Devil Dino, one, another one of my favorites because it's kind of like Ronin. Ongoing plus two power for each card in your hand. One of my best decks I had for Conquest is actually a Devil Dino deck. I have a sweet Devil Dino deck too, and we'll put it right there. Okay, so what I want to do here is one of these and put the squirrel over there those and hope for the best oh dang i was gonna get a cube victory Here. drop a squirrel girl there main one what am i doing we're gonna snap on that snap If you uh, if you do have a deck, I'll do a, I'll do a couple matches with it. But yeah, if you guys are in the Discord, go ahead and DM me. If not, the uh, the links down below. And that way you can uh, send me that deck, and you know I'll definitely hey, build a little cool. series as well. Okay, beautiful. There, which is useful. Uh, actually, I do just kind of want to play the Cosmo left. Normally, I would play the Cosmo left so that they can't Shang Chi me. But I don't think that there's a Shang Chi. All right, so I win left for sure. I win right for sure, and then we'll Spectrum. Boom. And that should be 20. Knowledge is power. Boom. So yeah, like just like that. Like I wasn't even trying to. I won all three locations. So that's not necessarily something you need to play towards, but it, it happens naturally. Hey, I appreciate you joining me for sure. Like I said, yeah, hop on the Discord. That way you can DM me, see where I'm at, and definitely want to uh, showcase some decks. For everybody watching on the YouTube, definitely make sure to like, subscribe, kind of see the, the journey of starting from the bottom. It is definitely more of a grind than I thought. In Discord as well, you know, you can DM me any questions you have, anything you want to see on the um, the series. Doctor Strange, banger. That way, you know, it's tailored for you guys. The questions you want to know while you're you're climbing the ladder, getting the cards, and what we can do with that with the deck building. So with that, again, thank you all. Appreciate it.